and welcome. And again, this video is part of a series. Be sure to check out the uh, link in the description for the full playlist, or hopefully at the end of this video, there will be a link to the full playlist. If you're watching the playlist and you get to one that is uh, not currently available, uh, that's because it hasn't been published yet and it will be in a couple of days. Uh, I do thank you, all my Patreon supporters who support me and have gotten this video early. And uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, the programs we just recently looked at, which is the mini modem and the Morse for Morse code. And um, so we also looked at the PSK31 applications, which were GUI applications. Um, but one of the nice things that you do is I could type, and as I typed, it sent the message out audibly so I could be basically chatting with someone over the airwaves. Um, can we do that with these two programs in the shell? And the answer is yes. Uh, using a, a command called uh, MKFIFO, uh, which allows you to create a file that you can real time read from as stuff is going into it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a file here. I'll just call it MSG for message, not for the stuff that's in Chinese food. Uh, okay, so now that file is created. So what I can do now is I can cat that file, even though it's empty, I can cat it into one of our programs like Morris. Um, so I hit enter and Morris is now sitting there listening. Now in a separate shell, so down here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say cat and our greater than symbol into MSG. So what this is going to do is it's turning cat into a text editor so I can put text into that file real time. So I'm going to hit enter. So now anything I type in the bottom line is going to be transmitted out, but it doesn't transmit until I hit enter, which is nice, because you can go back and fix mistakes in your typing. Unlike the other applications where it's real time, as you type, they go out. This, as I type, once I hit enter, it sends out what I've typed. So I can say, hello world. And again, Morse code is kind of slow. I'm going to test this out. And I can say goodbye. And when I'm done, I can control C to get out of that. Uh, and if I was to cut out MSG now, you can see it's still, there's nothing in there because we didn't actually put anything in that file. It's just waiting for information to come in. And as it comes in, it goes out. Um, so what I'm going to do now, so I, th I believe that's what uh, MKFIFO stands for is make in file out file. I've always assumed, I've never actually looked it up. So, uh, but you can do the same exact thing with uh, mini modems. So I can say uh, cat msg into mini modem dash dash transmit at 110, we'll say. And I come down here and I can say cat into msg. And I can say hello world. And you can see it's a lot faster than the Morse code again. Test this out. Goodbye. And then I can hit Control C to exit out of that in both programs. Close when I do that. Uh, so again, let me show you that real quick. And you know, what? if you have Mini Modem running as a trans uh, as a receiver on your machine right now, you could actually grab the audio that I'm playing through here if it's clear enough. Again, I'm recording this through a microphone. Um, but you should be able to decode that. But there we go, running it again. And I just want to show you again, I can say, hello, blah, blah. Oh, go back and fix that world. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes mini modem seems to be a little staticky when it first goes through. Let's try it again. There, that's better. Hello, this test. There we go, that's a little bit better. Uh, yeah, sometimes mini modem, when it first starts transmitting, it seems a little staticky and you tend to lose those first few characters. But once you start transmitting, it seems to go away. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you that you can backspace and make changes. Um, so that's it. So now uh, you can sit there and in your shell, type and communicate with someone back and forth. Uh, you can have a shell that's transmitting, a shell that's receiving, and a shell where you're typing. And of course, everything that's being, since we're using a shell, you can pipe everything that comes in either into a file or into another program that will filter it somehow. Uh, but that's typing somewhat real time. It's not exactly real time because it's not as you press the keys. Uh, but basically, as you type, you hit enter and it sends. Uh, so again, we're going to be looking more at uh, at these programs, especially Minimodem, as we develop some software here to display things uh, in a nice format. 
Uh, so thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description. Also think about supporting me over at patreon.com, patreon.com forward slash melex1000. I do thank you for watching. If you do like these videos, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Those things help out a lot. I thank you for watching. As always, I hope that you have a great day.